Hello, my name is Yenja, and today I'm gonna show you how many digits of pi I can learn in five minutes. And for those of you who are already subscribed, you probably know that I'm a memory champion, and I've demonstrated it live on lots of different shows, and I've also won many awards because of my memory. Today, it's Pi Day, which is March 14th. Caveat to this, I haven't memory trained in more than a year since 2018, so I am choosing to do fewer because one, I'm not in the best shape memory-wise, and two, I want to actually succeed with this video and not have lots of mistakes or gaps in my memory, and three, I think it's easy. So I'm gonna memorize 300 digits in five minutes. Memory is a foundational skill, so even though I haven't been practicing for more than a year, I think I should still be able to do at least 300. And for those of you who are watching and who know about memory, you're like, 300 is so little, but doing it under timed pressure in front of a camera is way harder. And also, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to be nice to myself and not set the expectations too high. Let's just start. Um, first, I'm gonna put my earplugs in. And I've had a friend compile four, 300 digits of pi uh, into an image file because I already know the first 100 if you've seen my other videos. And, and I learned it in a stupid way. But the, these ones I'm gonna use using my memory palace and my memory techniques. And these because my neighbors are super loud all the time and it's the weekend so they're even louder a lot of people ask me is that what you do at a memory competition and the short answer is no and the reason why is because we are trying to memorize as much random stuff as possible the arbitrary nature of the competitions is to memorize new things the skill is to learn the same amount of data and not just a set amount of data and that doesn't mean uh we can't learn pi it's just not what we do when we go to these competitions other people ask why don't you have the world record for memorizing pi and the short answer is it's super 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 hard the official world record right now is about seventy thousand. as i'm recording this my friend jonas uh jonas is trying to break the world record by memorizing more than a hundred thousand digits of pi so how about this i don't know if i'll ever be able to do that because i just don't know if it's that fun but i can promise you if i ever 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 get a hundred thousand subscribers i will break the u.s record which is just 15,000 and I think I could do that within a week or so. Yeah, because I memorize an entire catalog in a week and that's a lot of information. So I feel like 15,000 digits in a week should be doable. Unless I'm super out of shape like I am right now. Um, hopefully I won't be when I do that. I have this fantasy of memorizing, of breaking the US record in Times Square. Like you just have this glass box and then I would just sit in there and memorize all day and like take breaks to like drink and eat and have my arbiters etc and then there would be facts about pie and math and I'd do it for like some pie day in the future whenever I get the hundred thousand subscribers some facts about pie I did a previous video in which I explained how to start memorizing digits of pie if you want to just know about pie records as of recording this the world record is held by someone called Suresh Kumar Sharma uh, he memorized it in October 2015, 70,030 digits, and then that's the Asian record as well. The North American record is held by Mark Umil? Umile? Uh, he's American, so that's the American record to beat for me is 15,314. It's funny how he did that, 15,000 3.14. I would say the US record hasn't been broken in more than 12 years, so I feel like unless somebody else beats me to the punch by using my previous memory video, I could probably do it. Ooh, this one is good. The African record is at 1,500. So all my African people get to it. It's only 1,500. You could definitely do that. You could do that in like two months if you spent only 10 minutes a day learning it. You could do it. I believe in you. Okay, we'll see how that went. So, this one is off. Gonna put it away. Um, let's see. 
I'm not sure about that one. And then it's uh, 521384 And that should be it, hopefully, okay? Oh, I don't know. If there were any mistakes, again, I haven't been practicing for it a year and some change. It happens. I still think it's a pretty cool trick to learn if you have the time. If you do memorize Pi, use the hashtag Yenja taught me pie. Follow me on Instagram and I'll answer questions most every Monday on, at 9 p.m. live on my Instagram stories. And you can get this Pi Pi t-shirt on my web shop. Go to the, all the links and comment if you want more videos like this or other videos, comment here or on Instagram. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be uploading more of these Memory Monday videos every Monday. I hope you keep your lives memorable until next time. Bye!